I think I can, I will. Welcome you back. Pope Linus. Linus that ministered alongside Paul or another Linus. The Linus history tells us is really the founder of the church. The Holy Roman Catholic Church. 2 Timothy 4 I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound a doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Salute Prisca and Achilla, and the household of Anisiphorus. Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I left at Miletum sick. Do thy diligence to come before winter. Eubulus greeteth thee, and Puddens, and Linus. So who was this Linus, Bishop of Rome? Really the first Pope, not counting St. Peter. Who's this Linus? This servant of Rome. Look, September 23rd. They still celebrate this day in honor of him, the Bishop of Rome. All the propaganda that we see in media revolving around this date of September 23rd, it all starts with this guy, Pope Linus, Bishop of Rome. Either the same Linus that walked and preached and ministered alongside Paul, or another Linus, a corrupted Linus. History is unclear. It only tells us what it wants to reveal. But the true mystery is the true church. Even this knowledge was hidden from the angels, even from the foundation of the earth, made known to the saints. But obviously what's unclear is that is this the same Linus? Most scholars would disagree. There really is no substantial proof linking Linus with Pope Linus only by name and that's reaching at best and September 23rd a day recognized by the Catholics and celebrated and honored and idolized like they do all things to twist and to distort, but really to pay homage to the founder of their mystery Babylon, mother of harlot church that has got drunk on the blood of saints. The new men that took over would never let go of the power and the control and the reach they had upon civilization and the throne which all kingdoms would bow down to 
The throne. The relic. Made for giants. Made to usher in a new time. A new kingdom. Breaking the veil and ushering in a time of Antichrist. And lifting the veil because it's all centered around bringing the Antichrist to the earth. Even the root word of pontiff is bridge. And cardinal, the root word is hinge of a gate. The whole setup of the Vatican is designed to pay homage to Babylon. It's Antichristo, the new world order will fail. Why do you think they keep constantly mirroring and copying and inverting these things? Because it's, it's a religion that is actually at its very heart with the Jesuit conspiracies and secret societies. They're trying to break the veil and bring through the Antichrist. lies of this whole masquerade is that this is built on St. Peter. That's one of the, the, the hinges that it stands on, um, when in actual fact there's a lot to say that Peter himself wasn't in Rome and that this is actually a Gnostic religion. And I'm not saying there's not true believing people who are in the Catholic Church that truly believe in the Gospel of Christ have been misled, but I'm saying come out of her, my people, because this is a masquerade that is leading to the great deception, and that's the danger of it. We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias. They're trying to break the veil and bring through the Antichrist. I'm sorry to say folks, but those doors are not built for the size of a human being. Those doors are not built for the size of a human being. My goodness me. I've seen this exposed on YouTube before. On the surface level it looks like a throne. And by the way, that throne is not the size for a human being. It is the size of a giant. If a human being sat on that throne, they would look like the size of a child. If the Pope sat on that throne, he would look extremely small. So that is not built 
to represent a human being to sit in it. It's my guess that that is built for a Nephilim, a giant, to take its place, the Antichrist taking its place on the throne.